Hi guys, welcome again to my channel and uh, in the last episode I spoke about the dredging that was done uh, on this project uh, with close to 800,000 cubic meters of sand and how we brought together two young teams to form a partnership in delivering all the sand that we needed. How they worked you know, with the community, how they raised finance and also the engineering bit that was done by designing the foundations so that they can take uh, these you know, huge structures uh, which is uh, four floor apartment blocks and um, uh, the other uh, villas and terraces. Now on this episode I want to talk about uh, these structures that were used for the apartments. You will see that we have quite a number of apartments. There's about 38 apartment blocks and these apartment blocks, every floor has four different apartments, two or three bedrooms. So in the whole block, you have 16 apartments. Now, obviously, the ground is not the best. So that is why we had to do the right engineering by designing the right foundation to be able to carry the weight and to make sure that the structures were solid. Now, after doing this, um, uh, you know, I had told you once about innovation, being innovative. Um, I didn't want to use conventional construction. Conventional construction meaning casting concrete pillars with reinforced bars, you know, putting in slabs, reinforced. One, that would take time. And two, the expertise didn't exist because we were using local contractors. I would have taken a lot of time. So. I worked on putting up steel structures as the main structure. So we ordered some steel frame structures, which was mainly the skeleton from John Reed and Sons, who are based in England. So they did all the necessary calculations and we gave them all the geotechnical data. So they designed these structures. So mainly what you have is that a skeleton of the building was supplied all in steel, including the floor. So the floor was all steel and uh, we had to put in very light concrete and also the block work was done outside. So by the time the project is ready, you will not see any of the steel. But because it was so well designed, these steel structures are even anti-earthquake. So if you were to have, have an earthquake here, you know where it's built, God forbid, the buildings will not crumble. It will just lean to the side. You know, when you have, you know, in an earthquake zone, that's what happens. When the structure crumbles, then the heavy material will land on people and kill them. But they were designed in such a way, just to be sure, that it is anti-earthquake. So the necessary wind, strength of the wind was taken into place, the soil type was taken into place, and then the design was done. So the steel was designed and supplied by John Reed and Sons. And um, then it was quite simple because the contractors who were, you know, young local contractors, you know, could easily fill in the block work. So they didn't have much problems in putting up the foam work, the reinforcement, the concrete. But we had all the alignment which was done to the nearest millimeter with steel and it was solid. And in general, we could build a whole block of flats of 16 flats within three months. So the right design was done, it was all steel frame, and then we erected it. Now, in doing so, we also, what we did was for quality control, was to identify people who are manufacturing the blocks, block manufacturers, who came in with the right machines, so that we can, qual we can control the quality so that we don't allow every contractor to be making their own blocks. Because remember, on a project like this, quality control is key. So we have a team of engineers, you know, civil engineers, um, construction managers, um, quantity surveyors, and so on, so on, so on. So it's more like project management. So they are the ones that will supervise these contractors. So we got block makers, you know, block manufacturers who will bring their machines and manufacture the blocks, then supply it to contractors. So the, con the quality is controlled 
and it is supplied. Then obviously, as I said, we use the steel frames all done, well aligned. That is why if you come here now, you will find that all the buildings are straight. And if you look at the time that it was constructed, it was within a very, very, very short time. So everything was all fabricated in England and then put into containers, shipped out here. So as they were coming, we were erecting. So this worked for us. And again, I am a strong believer that yes, technology must be used these days in construction, but you must be careful that the technology you use is accepted by your clients. There's quite a number of people coming with, diff with different initiatives on building construction and using technology. But what worked here at the Rift Golf, Rift Taft Golf Estate was using steel frame structures for the apartment blocks and then infilling with block work. So if you come in here, you will find out that you will not see the steel. All you see is just the block work all finished, so you will assume that it's all conventional construction. One thing you have to remember in construction is that we don't generally, buyers here generally don't buy into new technology. So that can kill your project. What they want is they want solid blocks and plastered. So when they hit those walls, they feel is sand and cement and concrete. That did work for us very well. And um, uh, the steel was all ordered, all put in place. And we're happy today that these uh, structures that you see is a combination of steel frame skeleton or structure with block work in field. So don't forget that whatever you do, please do the right design for any project you are doing. And don't forget to, stri to strike that um, subscribe button and the like button. Thank you.